Hello Indie Game Lovers, Slushy here. Today we're going to have a look at A Nation of Wind. This game is about cabbage farmers that have bad digestion. No, it's actually an RTS that combines shooting elements like apparently an arena shooter style RTS, I don't know. Sounds interesting, let's have a look. So, it looks like you fly a giant clog. W accelerates, S decelerates, yep. A and D turn you around. And AOI stands for Area of Influence. Okay, that's good to know. Remember, S decelerates. Yep. If you'd like to skip the tutorial, press Escape to leave. You can come back on or press F1 to view the menu. Consult the question marks for info. Dark question marks have already been read. Here you will learn the basics of combat mode. Left click fires the minigun. Right click fires context sensitive weapon based on cursor position. So it looks like if you click with the right mouse button on this side you fire water balloons. Or they're probably cannonballs. Red cannonballs. And out the front shoots maybe an arrow or a harpoon. And you can steer it with your cursor. And right click out the back gives you a, like a floating air mine that reminds me of air buccaneers. So if you right click off the side of your ship, you fire cannons, cannons are balanced weapons. Yeah, we know that kind of. Well, we didn't know they were balanced. Right click off the front of the ship to fire a harpoon. These track the cursor and are quite powerful. Uh, all left click weapons use ammo. Ammo is indicated by the red bars oh yeah, over there. The current weapon is highlighted. The current weapon looks like a sword. What? Oh, okay, I get the blue highlight here. Uh, left click to fire the minigun. This gun can be fired in any direction. Yep, we kind of already know that. Fire on these wood blocks to proceed. Oh, yeah. Destructible terrain. That's pretty cool. Get rid of all this shit and come through here. The blue bar represents your health, the shield represents the armor point of your ship. Okay, yep. A lot of reading. Any damage you take below the armor point will begin to damage the crew systems. Okay, so the crew systems are probably those like spanners and cogs and the cannon. The repair system will heal your ship out of battle using wood. Damage to it decreases the effect. Well, I know that a good wood can fix anything almost. A good bit of solid wood always provides nice healing for the ladies. Gunnery systems determine the rate at which the ship fires its weapons. Yes, crew systems and ammo are healed passively by consuming food and stone. Yep, yep, that's pretty normal. I like to have a bowl of gravel in the morning. Keeps me regular. This can be turned off at pause. Next, you will learn the basics of build mode. Okay, this is going to be a long tutorial, I think. Use either the page change arrows or the scroll wheel to see additional unit pages. So there's like four different things there for, uh, let me see, 16 different units? Yeah, 16, only four pages. Uh, highlight a unit with your cursor to reveal its health and the number of resources it collects. So 25 health, 80 resources, and the lighthouse has two health, no resources, I think. Select the repair tool to heal units. Select the destroy tool to destroy them. Repairing costs five food. Okay. Yeah, I was going to do a video of this yesterday, but uh, I was doing some work around the house and I actually tripped over and hit my head on a wall pretty hard. Got a big egg on my forehead, a bit of blood came out, and I think I had a mild concussion because I wasn't making a lot of sense. I made some funny phone calls, and yeah, I actually played smart and went alright, even with a concussion. I think I actually went better. But anyway. So yeah, this dynamite blows stuff up, as you'd imagine. What's next? The amount of resources you have is shown under the health bar. Under that is the cost of the selected unit. AOI, area of influence. This is the highlighted area surrounding a unit. Man, I just can't be bothered reading. Let's go play. So I'm guessing I just pick an island and it will show me, okay, it shows what sort of resources there are. I think I'll pick this one because there's only one bad guy on there. Ooh, sexy lady floating on a cloud. Why is that left boob twitching? 
That's awesome. Oh, I'm so distracted now by that twitchy left boob. Alright, objective. Whatever that said, something about the obelisks. I'm still thinking about boobs. So I assume we should build some sort of buildings near this obelisk to try and gain influence over it. What is there? A road, a wall, a turret, and a town hall. I guess I'll put the town hall down first. I've got no idea what I'm doing, as you can tell. I could put walls down, but I might just put a turret in front of it to protect it. Yeah, screw it. Now, how many resources have I got left? 160 pyramids, 100 bread loaves, <laughs> I don't know what these are. Some Cuban cigars and some fungus. That's all you need to start a, an awesome thriving nation. So let's just go have a bit of an explore around. See what sort of... What we're dealing with here, what's the outlay of the terrain, is there any enemies around? Is that a flock of birds? Is that mountains in the middle of an ocean? This place is pretty crazy. Why am I doing burnouts around this island? Just doing donuts. Let's see if we can shoot stuff. Nope. Can't shoot the Spanish villa. Ooh, look at that. Waterfall at the edge of a floating island. Pretty cool. Oh, you can play soccer with small floating islands. I think that damages your ship though. It does look like a boot though, so it is tempting to kick things. And there's that big thing. What the hell? Purple fungus. My turret's attacking it, so it must be bad. Let's get it. It'll be no more fun for you, guy. Ha! Oh. No, I'm not going to start doing crappy puns again. Okay, dawn of a new day. Auto saving. Think something good happened? I don't know. Well, I might wrap this up anyway. You guys get the general idea already. It's kind of getting long. It's going to take me a while to upload this. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, pretty much me reading a tutorial. Oh, shop. The Sky Harbor has music. Awesome. You can buy more bread, more wood. That is stone. I knew it was stone. I was just playing with this when I said it was fungus. Um, looks like you can buy like buff type things. Rest, sacrifice, overhaul. Pretty cool. Alright guys, I'll catch you later. Slushy out. I'm not sure I like this neighborhood anymore. Ever since the giant flying seahorses that Jizon you moved in, it's just not the same.